Hey, what's going on YouTube? The reason I want to make this video here is I've been asked a lot of times, either by people here on YouTube or by friends of mine who have Android phones, how to get custom icons actually onto the phone to use if you don't want to install like an icon pack from the market. And so I'm going to use uh, the icon freebie collection here as an example to show how to do this. So let's go ahead and click on freebies. And you can see these are .png files, which will work with most um, apps on the phone that let you customize icons. Uh, some apps let you use uh, JPEG files as well, but I'm just going to use these for now. So first, click on here to download, and it's asking me to save the file. So hit OK, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it to the desktop. So hit Save. And you can see it's downloaded, it's on my desktop. Now what I want to do is I want to get this on my phone. And currently I have my phone hooked up to my computer via USB cable. And it is in disk drive mode. Which I will show how to do that with an insert video. Uh, just real quick, real simple. Whenever you hook up a USB cable from your computer to your phone, you'll get an option in your notification tray asking you how you want it to connect to your computer. Um, again, so I'm using disk drive for this example. So I'm going to open up my computer and the phone's SD card mounts as a removable disk. So just double click to open that. And I've created a folder on my SD card called icons. So I'm just going to drag the Tron sample pack which I just downloaded onto that folder and then I'm going to extract it here. So extract here. And you can see it's extracting there. Now we have this folder on our phone's SD card. And so now I'm going to switch over to the normal view of the phone screen to show you how to use um, these icons. Just real quick though, I like to show here that there's three folders within the Tron sample, blue, green, and red. And I'm just going to open up the blue folder really quick so you can see that these are indeed icons that you will be able to use on your phone. And I'll talk about those more once I go to the, the next view coming up of the phone screen itself. Okay, now that we've put the icons onto our phone's SD card, now we can go back to our home screen if you're using something as a home screen replacement for example I'm using Go Launcher EX and I want to change one of these icons in my dock down here to one of the icons I just downloaded so what I do is long press on that and then go to choose icon and then select custom icon and then go to gallery and you can see we have this blue folder here that was created. Um, also, there is green, and if I scroll down, red, which were all part of that uh, freebie icon pack, the Tron icons. So I'm going to go into here and then select this one, and then just hit save. And you can see on my application tray down at the bottom the icon the icon is now changed to that icon that was downloaded off the internet saved onto my SD card and you can see here it is now in use on my phone and if I press it it's an you know it's an icon just like any other icon on the phone um, so again this is how to use custom icons on your phone that were downloaded through the internet and not necessarily through the market. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the icon icons, which were made by The Flash, I'll put a link to his homepage in the description down at the bottom. Make sure to go check out his icons. He's a really good artist and you can see here um, that icon that I just used is really nice. It goes with the theme of my phone. And he's got tons of icons that'll go with uh, any theme you can think of on your phone and so check out 
his website. Like I said, I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you want to see more Android videos such as this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top. And until next time, this has been a tutorial for Android. Thanks a lot, guys.